And finally, this paper says that you have a mass of about 4 to 9 times that of the Earth. That probably makes you a superterrestrial planet, which is pretty fascinating in my opinion. Wow, Tau Study E, you know so much about me, more than myself. You're very clever. Well, I do try to keep up with the latest research. Thanks for noticing. You're welcome. So, Tausa the E, do you have any plans for this weekend? Well, I have a stack of scientific papers to publish, including the one I just read to you. But I wouldn't mind some company. What do you ask? I I was just thinking maybe you can go on a date with hey, me. Hey, Outer Tausa the Planet, I was looking for you two. We need to head over to Telsady G's orbit. He called a meeting. Oh, uh, hey, Telsady H. I was actually- No time for chit chat! Telsady E, can you join us? Oh, I'd love to, but I'm swamped right now. Maybe next time. <sighs> Alright, fine. Let's go, Telsady F. Welcome, fellow planets. I wanted to gather everyone to discuss our amazing planetary system. First on the agenda, our brilliant star, Tau Ceti. Tau Ceti is a yellow main sequence star in the constellation Sedus, just under 12 light years from the sun. As the second closest G-type star to the sun, she is very special, classified as a G8.5 V-type star, which means she is a colder sun-like star, still burning hydrogen in her core. Most of her mass is hydrogen and helium. It is about 80% the size of the sun, with a surface temperature of 5,320 Kelvin, just a bit colder than the sun. And get this, she is ancient. Most estimates say that Tau Ceti is around 9 billion years old. That is older than most planetary systems we know. No wonder our system has so many mysteries. Speaking of mysteries, let's talk about the Canada planets. There are quite a few, but not all of them may actually exist. Here they are from closest to farthest. First, Tau Ceti b, a hot planet two times heavier than the Earth, orbiting 0.10 astronomical units away from Tau Ceti. His existence is doubtful now, but some models suggest that something similar to Tau Ceti b could be there. Next is me, Tau Ceti g. I was proposed in 2017, slightly smaller than Tau Ceti b. I have a quick orbit of 20 days. Evidence for myself is weak, but not entirely ruled out. Then is Tau Ceti C, with a minimum mass of 3.1 Earth. It could be either a superterrestrial planet or a subjovian planet. Tau Ceti C most likely is real though. Tau Ceti H, about two Earth masses, orbiting every 50 days. He is right at the edge of what Earth's telescopes can detect, so he may have slipped past the Earth. Tau Ceti D, the least likely planet to exist in Tau Ceti, at least 3.5 Earth masses, 94 day orbit, but repeated searches have not found him yet. Now, Tau Ceti E. She is interesting because she is near the habitable zone. Minimum mass is 4 Earth masses, probably more of a subjovian planet than a terrestrial planet. Recent studies doubt her existence though. And Tau Ceti F, further out at 1.3 astronomical units, also nearly 4 Earth masses. She takes nearly 2 years to orbit Tau Ceti. If she exists, she is likely to be a subjovian planet, not rocky or habitable. But she is right at the edge of the habitable zone. Last is the largest planet of Tau Ceti, Tau Ceti I, a possible superjovian planet, maybe up to 5 Jupiter masses, orbiting very far from Tau Ceti. But given Tau Ceti's low metallicity, it's unlikely to be that massive. Well, that's all of us, real or not. Can we wrap this up now? Hold up, Tau Ceti F. You seemed distracted lately. Is everything alright? Oh, Tau Ceti G. It's just that I almost got to ask out Tau Ceti E at last. But then I got pulled away for this meeting. I mean, I love these meetings and I know how important they are. But I was so, so close and... I couldn't do it. You actually want to go on a date with Tau Ceti E? I, well, maybe, okay, listen, she might look like just another Venus analog, but Tau Ceti E is so much more than that. She's got a great sense of humor, she is super smart, and, well, she is impressively large. 
those cute glasses she wears, and her sexy body. What? All right, all right, we gotta tell Sunny F. So, that is what you think of me? Oh no, she heard everything! Talsady F, do you actually like me? Yeah, I do. I hope you don't see me differently because of it. I don't see you differently at all. In fact, I think I like you too. Wait, really? Of course! One thing I like about you is that you have a lot in common with me. We are both in a habitable zone where liquid water can exist. We were detected using the radial velocity method, the way astronomers spot tiny shifts in our star's position. Our similar masses suggest we could be superterrestrial planets, but there's still a chance we could be subjovian planets. People talk about us being possible homes for life, which is pretty awesome. And of course, neither of us have been fully confirmed yet. There is still a lot to learn about who we really are. Also, you're pretty nice and awesome and, uh, hot as fuck. Oh, th th thank you, Tell City E. That means a lot to me. How about we visit the Helix Nebula for our first date? It'll be amazing. That does sound amazing. I love that. Did that just happen? Guess so. Space romance, huh?